Good evening, and welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church and to Jazz Vespers. This evening, in light of all that has been happening on Maui, we want to have a, a time of prayer uh, to remember uh, those that are, um, are suffering so much loss right now. Uh, as you know, these fires that have been ripping through Lahaina uh, have taken lives and homes and businesses, but it's also taken a very significant and important cultural and historical community here in the islands, uh, the capital of the kingdom from 1820 to 1845. While the Aina survives and lives will be rebuilt, our hearts grieve. So this evening we will pray. We will pray for the community and uh, for these flames and embers to be extinguished. I invite you to open your bulletins. For those of you at home, you can click on the link that is in uh, the comment section and to join me in Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul, my soul waits, waits for the Lord, Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love and with him is great power to redeem.
I invite you to join me in the litany of lament on the insert in your bulletins. O oh Lord, it happened so fast. Wildfires relentlessly driven by winds, those in its pathways so vulnerable. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. We grieve those who could not escape, whose lives were lost, for families missing loved ones. Others escaped with only the clothes on their backs, thrust into uncertainty. Family pets missing, homes gone, businesses and jobs gone. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. Smoldering ash and smoke that are still being fought. Tourists needing help to get home. Responders providing search and rescue for the missing and support and aid to the fire refugees. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. The burned and injured receiving care in hospitals. Medical personnel providing compassion amidst their own trauma. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. The history and culture of Lahaina in flames. Scars deep within a people. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. A world in which our slow response to the forces creating climate change is made real before us. Hear us, Lord, have mercy. Walk beside those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, their homes, their livelihoods. Hold them up. Provide strength to firefighters, patience to tourists, endurance to those doing search and rescue, and support to those aiding the traumatized. Restore the Aina. Provide resiliency to the people and show us the way to live in harmony with your creation. O God, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
these words of scripture. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For there is a reward for your work, says the Lord. They shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future. I will comfort, says the Lord, as a mother comforts her child, and you shall be comforted. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Behold, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. <laughs> Old seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to see a certain land I've had in I'd like to add 
Tell him please to put on some speed. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and strength, meet us in our sorrow and lift up our eyes to the peace and light of your constant care. Help us so to hear your word of grace, such that our sorrows are eased with your presence and our fears dispelled by your love. We pray and hope for the coming of your kingdom. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
water is wide, I can't cross over, and neither do I have wings to fly. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I invite you to join me in prayer. After each petition, I will say, Lord, in your mercy, I invite you to respond, hear our prayer. 
Almighty God, our hearts are crushed by the loss of life and devastation of these wildfires. We turn to you, our strength and our refuge, to provide hope to those who are traumatized and direction to those of us who can help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Protect the fire personnel still fighting these fires on Maui and the Big Island, and put out the embers that are so dangerous upon the wind. Keep them safe and give them the strength in doing what they are trained to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For families waiting word regarding loved ones, friends, and pets, and the fate of their homes and businesses, calm their anxious, soul, anxious souls with the assurance that you are with them and will guide them through this. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those engulfed in loss, the loss of loved ones, homes, and livelihood, hold them up. Sustain them with your presence through this shattering time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Provide patience and transportation home for tourists caught within this disaster and the support they need upon their return to process what they have gone through. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this season of school beginning, we pray for the children and teens whose education has been interrupted by these wildfires. Guide teachers and administrators as they work to adapt to the physical and emotional implications of this tragedy upon their students and work environment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the connections between climate change and extreme weather events become increasingly real, guide scientists and government officials the world over in working toward mitigation efforts and reversing the harm our human activity has been causing. Move all of us to greater commitment toward the well-being and care of your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our rock and savior. Amen. The Lord in whom we live and move and have our being is with us. The psalmist writes, O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. We are never alone. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.
we say, say then Needless to say, um, those on Maui, those responding, uh, the visitors who are trying to get home, continue to need our prayers. If you would like to help in a more tangible way through the church, uh, the offering this evening will go to um, a fund that the Episcopal Church has on Maui, an organization called A Cup of Water. It um, is already in place, and they are preparing to provide support. So any monies tonight will go there, and the diocese encourages, if you would like to give gifts uh, through the church, that is a good way to do it. There's information in the program that has an address, uh, if you like to do snail mail, or um, an online method, if you prefer that. I want to thank the band tonight. They completely changed their program to be able to accommodate this uh, evening's prayer service. So thank you very much. We have Star Kalahiki on vocals. Mark Tenoy on bass. Dan Del Negro on piano. And Reggie Padilla, tenor saxophone player and our band director. And over here, we have Manny Dio making it possible for those of you at home to be with us. Thank you all for being here. Aloha. <laughs>